Hi everybody, welcome to a new Python tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the Iter Tools module in Python. The Iter Tools module is a collection of tools for handling iterators. Simply put, iterators are data types that can be used in a for loop. So for example, the most common iterator is the list. And the Iter Tools offers some advanced tools. And we will be talking about the product, the permutations, combinations, the accumulate function, the group by function, and some infinite iterators. So let's start with the product. So first of all, we have to import it. So we say from iter tools, import product. And let's say we have two lists, A equals one and two and B equals a list with three and four and then we say we have a product of a and b and the product will compute the cartesian product of the input iterables so let's print this so print the product and then we will see that we have a iter tools object. So this is an iterator. And to see the elements, we can com convert it to a list. And then we will see the product. So the product will combine one and three and one and four, and then two and three and two and four. So this is the product. We can also define a number of repetitions. So if we say repeat equals two, um, then it can um, repeat and let's run this. And then we see that this is a very large list. So let's make our second iterable smaller and print this and then maybe the repetition gets clearer. So we have one and three. And since we can repeat again, we do one and three, then we have one and three and two and three, two and three and one and three. And again with repetition two and three and two and three. So that's the product. Then we also have something called permutations. So permutations will um, return all possible orderings of an input. So let's say we have one, two and three as a input. And then we calculate the permutations of A and print this again as list. And then we see all the different orderings. So we have one, two, three, one, three, two, two, one, three, two, three, one, three, one, two, and three, two, one. So that's permutations. And we can also specify the length of the permutations as a second argument. So if we want to have shorter permuta permutations with only length two, we give it the argument two. And then we see different orderings with the length of two. So one, two, one, three, two, one, and so on. That's permutations. Then we have combinations. So from iter tools import combinations. And the combinations uh, function will um, make all possible combinations with a specified length. So let's also make an example here. Let's make a list one, two, three, and four, and then say comp equals combinations of A. And the second argument with the length here is mandatory. So in this example, I only want the length two, and then print this again as a list. And then we will see all possible combinations with length two. So one, two, one, three, one, four, two, three, two, four, and three, four. Um, and note that 
we don't have combinations of the same argument so no repetitions here and if we want that we can also use the combinations with replacement function so then we import it so import combinations with replacement and then let's make another combination iterable and say combinations with replacement of a and also of length 2 and print this comp with replacements and then we see that it will make combination of one and itself so one and one one and two one and three and so on so this is combinations and combinations with repla replacement. Now, then we have the accumulate function. So the accumulate function makes an iterator that returns accumulated sums or any other binary function that I will give as input. So let's make an example. First of all, import the accumulate function and then we can say we leave the list a equals one two three and four and then we say accumulate equals accumulate of a and print this first of all let's print our list and then print the accumulated list so we see that our list is one two and three and the accumulated sums is one three six and ten so the first element stays the same and then we have one plus two is three three plus three is six and six plus four is ten so that's the accumulate function and by default it will compute the sums but we can also, for example, um, multiply the elements. So let's import um, operator. And then we can give a second argument. We can say func equals operator dot mul. So this will multiply each element. So one stays the same. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 4 is 24. And as a third example, let's just use the max. So this will return the max for each um, comparison. So for example, if we have a 5 here in between and have a look at our list, then one is the same two now two is the max then compared with five and then five is still the max compared with three and five still the maximum and compared with four five is still the maximum so that's accumulate now let's talk about the group by function um, the group by function makes an iterator that returns keys and groups from an iterable so let's make an example to make this clearer let's say we have our list a equals one two three and four and then we say we make a group object and that is group by and then um, we want to group A and we have to give it a key which has to be applied so as key we can define a function so let's say smaller than 3 and give it an input and then return x smaller than 3 so this will return true or false and as a key we will give it this function and then let's print this so we will see that this is a 
group by object and we can iterate over this so we can say for key and value in our group object and then we want to print the key and the value and then we will see it prints the key and an iter tools object and grouper object so we can convert this to a list to see the values um, and then it gets clearer so we have our input array a and we group this into um, other lists with the comparison if it's smaller than three so for one and two are grouped together because they are smaller than three and the key is true and three and four are grouped together and the key is false um, now we can also use a lambda function here so I will talk about this in the next video but as a very short explanation lambdas are small one-line function that can have an input and will do some expression and then will return an output so I can write the same function in one line with a lambda expression so I can write lambda x and then colon and then simply x smaller 3 so this will do the same thing if I run this then it will print the same thing now let's make an another second example for this maybe this is not clear at the first sight so let's define a object persons and this is a list and inside this list we have different um, dictionaries and the dictionaries contains a name and an age and let's say we want to group our persons by the same age so let and then we say lambda x and simply x um, and as key the age and then if we run this and print this then we will see as keys we have the different values for age so we have 25 27 and 28 and then we also see that it grouped Tim and Dan together because they both are 25 years old and then we have Lisa and Claire so that's the group by function then we also have some infinite iterators there's the count function then the cycle function and the repeat function and the count function is very simple so if you just say for i in count and then give it a start value so let's start at 10 and then print this so this will make an infinite loop that starts at 10 and then adds one for every repetition so one so 10 11 12 and so on and this is still going now so then for example if i say if i is 15 then we will we break so then it will stop at 15. that's the count function then there's the cycle function so this will cycle infinitely through an iterable so let's say we have a, a list that has one two and three and we want to cycle through a and print this so this will print one two and three and then cycle again one two and three and again infinitely until i make some stop condition so that's the cycle method and now as a last thing the repeat method so repeat for i in repeat and then i want to repeat for example just the one then this will simply make an infinite loop and 
will print one. And I can also, as a second argument, give it the stop um, repetition. So how many times do I want to repeat? For example, if I say four here, then it will repeat the one four times. Yeah, that's all about the iter tools. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial where we talk about the lambda functions in Python.